Hi, my name is Itamar Levinger from the Institute for Health and Sport at Victoria University, Melbourne, Australia. On behalf of Hubble, I'm interviewing Alex Stacey from Victoria University, who will give an oral presentation at this year's ASBMR meeting. Alex, can you please introduce yourself to the Hubble audience? Thanks, Itamar. Uh, my name is Alex Stacey, and I'm a PhD student at Victoria University, uh, and also a member of AIMS, the Australian Institute of Musculoskeletal Science. Uh, I'm nearing the end of my PhD uh, journey, I guess. Uh, I'm going to submit my, or plan to submit my thesis in a few months by the end of the year, which is exciting. Excellent. And uh, what are you presenting uh, at ASBMR? I'm going to be presenting a portion of my uh, PhD results at the, at the conference. Uh, so my PhD consists of both sort of basic uh, research in animals and then some translational uh, research in humans. And I'm going to focus on the dental work for my PhD for my uh, talk at the conference. And uh, what are the key findings of your work? So my work uh, looked at the role of osteocalcin, which is a bone derived uh, protein, and its sort of role in vascular function and endothelial function, and whether uh, this osteocalcin influences vascular function at all. Uh, so the key findings that we found is that uh, vascular, the osteocalcin doesn't really seem to impact endothelial function directly, which is uh, important for some disease mechanisms. And uh, what are the implications of your findings? So basically, osteocalcin uh, in the past number of years has been suggested to influence metabolic diseases and, and things like that, uh, glucose, glucose regulation and things like that. So uh, what we wanted to do was determine whether um, osteocalcin would uh, impact endothelial function in a negative or positive way. Um, as some re previous research has suggested that um, it could uh, negatively influence it. So what it means by uh, my research suggest, uh, showing that there wasn't really a direct influence, it's just that osteocalcin can be used um, maybe as a future target for therapeutic treatments for metabolic diseases such as diabetes without any risks of adverse effects occurring in the vasculature. Nice. Uh, and uh, finally, what... Uh, you plan to do after the PhD? What, what is your next stage of your career? That's a good question. Uh, at this stage, I'm not 100% sure of what I really want to do. Um, I'm also a clinician, so I'm an exercise physiologist uh, as well. So I think I want to sort of use those skills and do some work in that, but then also maybe um, do some other research um, in some respects as exactly what I want to do at this stage. I'm not 100% sure and um, open to open to ideas and, and that sort of thing. But at this stage, uh, both a bit of clinical work and, and some research is, is of interest to me. And I would like to uh, thank you on behalf of Hubble for your time. No worries, thank you very much.